Welcome to KSL Sports Rewind's top five plays and performances of last week. Brought to you by High Levin and Associates at Western Governors University. And we're talking all three phases in play number five. Richfield's Emery Thorson takes the kickoff. Well, he's got the right first name if you don't want to be touched by the boys in blue and white. Emery Thorson! We'll give this to his blocking, too. Wildcats run away from my dinos. Carter receives a kickoff, reverses to Emery Thorson, coming up the right side of the field. Gets some great blocks, and he is in the open field. Great move on the, the last one, and goes in for a touchdown. So the Wildcats on the first play of the game. Delta's Candace Lavelle. This guy, well, we like this guy. Bounces off a couple tackles, and boom! Like a rabbit through the field. He runs past the Eagles. Delta downs Millard for the second time this season. At the 10 yard line by Delta. Cadence Lovell, look at him go, look out. Oh, He's across oh. the 40 to the 50, it's a foot race. To the 40, to the 30, to the 20, 10, 5, touchdown. Holy smokes. Now we'll show you a punt. Box elders Cole Mortensen. You just gonna let it go? No. He sees an opportunity. And he takes it! Mortensen reverses field, picks up some more blocks, and Cole Mortensen powering! Box Elders win in round number one. Mortensen picks it up and goes, picks it up at the 24 yard line, and he's gonna go around the other direction. He could go all he's the way! Go. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, and that's going to be a touchdown for Cole Mortensen, his third return of the year. Defensive gems. Tibinogas is Jaden Robinson off the dip drop, able to pull this one in. Well, Byer in the pistol. He puts Tabarachi in motion, and now it's going to be a throw. Oh, a little screen play, and it's intercepted. Interception there, number 38. That's Jaden Robinson. This one's a mouthful. Jacob Amoto Tolua Ola out of Orem. You want to throw a screen because it's safe? Not so safe here. <laughs> Matt is Hunter Stevens. Well, he knows it's hunting season with his own tip jump. And he's able to pull that one in for the Templars. So let's see if Manti is able to be stout. Chino Furness again. He's looking. Now he's going to throw it across the middle. Two defenders there for the Templars. They knock it away from each other, but Hunter Stevens goes up and comes down with the batted ball. Going back to Delta. What is with the self dip drills tonight? Ryder Rogers with the pick for the Wabbits. Back to pass. Rasmussen got a man got open a man down the far open. side, and it might be picked, and it is intercepted. At the 45 yard line, I think that was Ryder Rogers. Cedar Valley's DeVoe Tuatonga with the bullet kits pick and the six. Where the double threes for a reason. It is on this third and long. That oh, one. Oh, what an interception from Cedar Valley plucked out of the air by our guy Tuatonga. And it's an avalanche now for the Aviators. How about this one? Hook and ladder and take away. Tegan Hansen jumps the lateral for, I guess that's a fumble recovery. Our apologies there on the clock, 7.30 oh. to go, and it's another interception off the tent drill, and it's Hansen, his second of the night. Uh, these guys are just showing off. Judges Nayun Chaul. Oh, that's pretty. Into the maroon with a beautiful catch for the Bulldogs. Gutierrez in the shotgun, trips right, one receiver left. Pump fake on the screen, goes back across the middle. Did he hold on? Yes, he did. Noon Chol with a great catch in the end zone. And Judge answers quickly. We have shown Ben Lomond a lot this season. This one is Hunter Christensen. First of all, catched it through the pole at North St. Pete. And then threw a couple defenders too. Tua Tagaloa awaits the snap. We'll take it. Pressure comes from the Hawks. He's going to throw to the outside. And it is ultimately... All 10 in double coverage. The outside, that is hauled in by number one, Hunter Christensen, the junior. If one play is good, how about two? Oh, man, come out of the shadows and into the light. Jackson Watson, ah, 
minute just shy of the goal line. But the Scots get a double dip. Just a better catch. As you mentioned, North Sampy, pretty good in coverage. Maybe had a little tug there on the jersey. But, boy, I'll tell you what, uh, he did a better job uh, catching that football number two in. Uh, man. If you know Delta Athletics, you know the Smith family. They've been there forever. Cam Smith on this one. Can you dig it? Beautiful ball over two defenders. Here's the snap. Back to pass. Scheme got to get rid of it. Here comes the pressure. It's going to go down the near side. Ball's up for grabs, and it oh! is <laughs> at the one-yard line by Cam Smith. What a pass on the run. It wasn't just Delta that played well in this one. Miller showed out, too. How about this one from Connor Ham? Oh, beautifully done. Two wide far side, two wide near side. Here's Rasmussen coming down this near side line. Falls up for grabs, and I think it's caught. Whoa, Connor Ham at the 44, 45 yard line. That'll be a gain of 25. How about this one? Viewmont's Cole Madro off the defender. Dip drop, able to pull it in before hitting the turf. More from Cole later. In and out in this second half. Toby back in here, looking over the oh. middle. That was nearly picked, but the deflection goes to Madro, who has it at the 25 first down. No way this happens. Evade the pressure, throw it deep. Oh, it's gonna be picked. Oh, no, it's not. It's caught. Madro pulls it literally off the top of the defender for the reception. Jacobs. Oh, look at the hesitation there by Luke. Looking for Mudro. Was that oh. intercepted? No, Mudro comes away with it. It's a catch. That oh is a God. crazy reception. It looked like Hansen had the pick, and Mudro somehow comes up with it in his right arm. And then there's this one. Siosefa Brown. Throw it up, big fella. Now watch this. The defender as he's going down, bounces off his knee. Right into the breadbasket of Siosefa Brown, who's laid on the ground. What a catch from Siosefa. Firing deep. Uh, maybe. Did they catch that? It bounced nope. around and he caught nope. it. I think it might have hit somebody in the leg and bounced up. We are without words. We have no speech. Green Canyon's Rodney Cragen off the double pass. Two defenders coming. What? Take him out and walk it in for six. Quick pass on a double pass. And the wide is wide open. And the throw over the top is caught. And at the 30. And he cuts back at the 20. The 10, 5, and touchdown. That is Rodney Cragen and the trickeration. <laughs> Still can't even be outdone. How about this one? Jake Hill. Jump ball. Got it. Pull it down the defender in his lap for the Warrior touchdown. Watch him go high at the highest point, get that ball, bring it down. You know, and it was good coverage by the Wolves. Just better execution by the Warriors. Hey, how about the double dip from the Alan Chow? He's the top receiver at the top of the screen. The ball with the dip drop. Chow comes back with the catch. And he's not done yet. If you stick around, he'll give you six to the corner of the end zone. What a play by the Alan Chow. Gutierrez in the shotgun, Hemmings to his right in the backfield, takes a snap, looking to his left, comes back across the middle, throws, ball's tipped to the line of scrimmage, and able to make the catch is win. He's going to get inside the five, takes a hit to the end zone, and now they are going to determine a touchdown, so the Bulldogs are on the board. From one great catch to another, Cedar Valley's Tegan Hansen, two defenders, no defenders, what a play, contorts his body and pulls it in. I might need to go get an adjustment tomorrow morning. First down. Looking for Hanson. Oh! Caught. Touchdown. Cedar Valley. Taking Hanson. Oh my gosh. I thought that ball was a little bit too fast. Taken said, heck no, it's not. It's right on target. Not all catches are created equal because there's great catches. And then there's this one from Roger Seliaponga. You got mossed. <laughs> Oh, that is nasty! So good! Roger Celia Ponga, that is ridiculous! We'll see you in round number two.
any plays that we missed, hit us up at KSL Sports Rewind or at High School Rewind at gmail.com. 